Hello, would you just like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Peter H. Partington, and I'm going to be cleaning ovens in Kings Lynn, Down on Market, and all of those lovely little villages in between and around and about in West Norfolk. What I'm going to be doing is cleaning Argos, ranges, double ovens, single ovens, grills, hobs, cooker hoods, extractor fans, and if you catch me on a really good day, barbecues too. What made you look at oven cleaning as an industry? I liked the idea of oven cleaning because I like to be busy, I like to get out and about, and I kind of, yeah, I like to be quite physical actually. I don't want to spend quite a lot of time sitting on my chair in an office and no, I'd much rather be out and about and I really like the idea of getting out meeting people as well, you know. Why did you choose oven gleamers? Oven gleamers, number of things, but primarily Unlike a number of other franchises that I spoke to, Oven Gleamers spoke very seriously about a training period, a two-week training period, both in terms of the technical bits of cleaning ovens, but also how to run your business and so on and so forth, which was really, really heartening because there were a lot of people I spoke to who said, oh, I'll have a chat with you for five minutes in the car park after I've had your check, thanks. They have this call centre which is absolutely fantastic because basically you get a van with your telephone number on it, but my telephone number will actually go all the way down to Bristol to head office to the call centre where intelligent, trained and experienced ladies will answer every conceivable question anyone could possibly have about oven cleaning and give them a price. Book people in, they'll take the money sometimes in advance, all of that kind of thing. So it's again, a large part of the the business was taken care of and allowed me to concentrate on cleaning ovens and you can imagine what it would be like halfway through cleaning an oven, somebody rings up, oops sorry, you know, got to get me gloves off, you know, answer the phone. No, this is a much more sensible and professional system. Um, the other thing that I really liked about oven cleaners was they have this wonderful electrically heated dip tank into which you put all of the detachable bits of oven, argo, range, whatever it is, and it gives them the best clean you could possibly have. But it also means that you've then got all of the little bits and pieces out of the way so you, I can then concentrate on getting inside the oven, not literally, um, and cleaning all of the, what we might call the carcass and so on and so forth. So, yes, it's, it avoids, there are some people who use gas burners in the backs of vans and you won't be surprised to learn that quite a few of them have blown up by the roadside. So, no, didn't fancy any of that, thank you very much. Can you see any challenges ahead of you? I'm not quite sure whether the challenges are the right way. I'm really looking forward to getting out there and what I'd really like, I'd, I'd be very happy cleaning anybody's oven, but I'm very fond of Argus. I've had three Argus in the past, and I think if I could clean two Argus a day, you would find me a very, very happy chap indeed. So how have you found the Oven Gleamers training? Ah, the Oven Gleamers training, again, exceeded all expectations. It was simply marvellous. So we went round and we had a lot of very good practical training with Graham and Matt, um, but again, it was, it's the depth, the, you know, the point is oven cleaners, you know, they want to know that you can support their principles, ideals and aspirations. And so, yeah, there's no scrimping and that kind of stuff. It was really good technical training and then we had a lot of really good stuff on new media marketing and that kind of thing in the office and so on and so forth and as I said two weeks in comparison to five minutes in the car park no and it and it exceeded my expectation well what are you looking forward to most I'm looking forward to being busy and I'm a bit of a perfectionist so actually the idea of turning up to slightly messy oven I suppose is the polite way of describing it 
um, and turning it into a really lovely, shiny, gleamy thing that, you know, you can see your own reflection. And yeah, um, and yeah, I would have been busy and bounced around and meet people in clean ovens. What advice would you give to someone considering investing in an Oven Gleamers franchise? I think you'd have to look jolly hard to find something as well thought out and, as I said, again, this thing, you know, the training that comes with it, I really do think you're going to find it very, very different. You know, if, if you don't want to be a bit physical, then it's probably not going to be for you. But if you do want to be physical, you're going to get an excellent training. And it really does seem that the world is changing. And the one thing people really don't want to do anymore is clean their ovens. So, come and do it for them. What do you think buying the franchise has given you? Buying a franchise has given me a new lease of life, an opportunity to sort of reinvent myself again, to hold my head up high in public, to have money in my pocket and, yeah, be, be, feel good, do something, you know. Tell me a little bit about your background. My background is slightly unusual. Um, I started off as an inventor and had something on Tomorrow's World. I then got into the world of marketing and ran my own agency for a bit, sold that off, and then having thought that I was going to have a wonderful, relaxed life, um, ran out of money and so yes, needed to reinvent myself. And yeah, people, people don't employ intelligent, experienced, capable people like me. So I'm not much good as an employee anyway. So yes, it was time to be my own boss and the Oven Gleamers franchise, after considerable thought and reflection, was the way forward.